Hi, I'm Stuart. I'm Chris. Welcome to Sarnet TV. And we are going to be looking at a Federal Signal Electronic Q2B Siren Amplification Unit. Indeed. And uh, interesting, we don't get a lot of the E2QBs around here. Most folks like to use the more electrical control mechanical one. So why don't you go across to the bench and show us well, right do. now. Well, and one of the things that's nice with the E, mm -hmm. it's smaller. Not everybody has that ginormous real estate for the mechanical. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. For vehicles where the Federal Signal Mechanical Q2B just won't fit, or there's not enough real estate for mounting it, let's introduce you to the EQ2B 200. So Federal Signal's electronic Q solution. This is designed for those of you amongst fire, rescue, and emergency management services who have vehicles that need that big fire truck sound, but in an electronic package. So starting off is this wonderful casing that'll be mounted on the interior of your vehicle. So this is the tones and the functionality of this whole wonderful kit here. So it includes all the various pieces laid out on the counter. On the EQ2B, to cool the unit itself, it has the wonderful heat sink system here. So the fins, those are the heat sink, letting heat dissipate. After all, this does draw about 20 amps on your vehicle's electrical system. So to help that, an incorporated fan. On the side of this, a diagnostic and easy to use locking input connectors. So these let you know that the system is operating, the truck's ready to go out and start the road, your siren system is working properly, and the connectors included are three of them. Moving over is the main connector, which is a three pin that corresponds to the ground, power, and ignition trigger circuit going into your vehicle. The other two smaller connectors tie in this unit to the 200 watt speakers that'll go along with it. So depending on your preference and mounting space available, you can take advantage of Federal Signal and the BP200. So a self-contained 200 watt speaker or carry over to a pair of the ES100Cs, a pair bringing this to 200 watt functionality. Included with it is a control head, and you get to select this on the drop down. There is the flush mount, which is perfect to drop into your conal or control panel, or there's the version with the standard bail bracket, so that will let you fix it onto an appropriate surface. So again, on the drop down, that's what those last characters are going to correspond to, completely the control head. But the control head itself will offer you the same functionality. The 25-foot serial communications cable here will plug into the input on the EQ2B amplifier. To connect a control head to it, that's what the purpose of that cable is, it'll tie into the rear port here. So on the control head here itself, you have the rheostat center switch for switching over to that appropriate tone or function you're wishing to utilize on your vehicle. Push buttons are also incorporated into it, and if you're curious, using the brake button, that simulates an actual brake from the mechanical version, so that takes that winding tone and drops it down to slow it, or as the vehicle's approaching park, takes that tone, winds it down appropriately. You can take advantage of the included microphone, and this can plug in in one of two spots. So depending on the amplifier and where this is mounted, you can plug it into the port directly here. So say for vehicles where you need a microphone and to do public announcing through the back, you already have microphones up front, this being mounted toward the rear of the vehicle, easily plug this in, that takes care of that microphone solution. Otherwise, if you're wishing to plug it into the control head, or again, maybe you're just going to admit this, well, Federal Signal has done a great job with this little pop-over cap. So with this being easily removed right from the control head, but it is nice and snug in there, so when it's in there, you don't need the mic, looks nice and finished, plugging in right here. So a nice plug and play with the microphone. Further functionality with the EQ2B, tying into the very, very detailed installation sheet and the corresponding connector here, that allows you to do radio rebroadcast, so tying in your vehicle's radio to this system, but you can also take advantage of built-in functions such as part kill, so automatically deactivating this with a trigger wired wired up to your transmission circuit. And from there, if you want, you can take advantage of hands-free. So rather than using the control head to operate it, tying that trigger wire into your vehicle's steering wheel, so one tap starts the tone, 
tapping it again and again, cycles through, and double tap, shutting it off. So a really well-crafted, self-contained system, again, from the wonderful folks of Federal Signal. So with that product page that you're viewing now, Federal Signal EQ2B200. Well, it's good to know that small things come in big packages. But when it comes to the output, it's going to be absolutely tremendous and exactly what your fire service vehicle commands. So also, amp draw is something worth noting because the electrical mechanical unit, beautiful product, but it does draw a lot of amps. Mm -hmm. Well, you should see the power wire on that thing. It's monstrous. Yes, on the mechanical version. Mm -hmm. But on the electrical version, it's a lot smaller, standard. Yeah, siren things are simplified yep. and there's speakers that are doing this job. There's a main amplifier that's doing its job appropriately that's mounted away on the inside of the vehicle. Right. So on the other side of things, on the installation, there is a little bit more to it. The mechanical, it's all straightforward right there. Mount it, run some wires into switches. But this one, a little more to it, but it's going to give you that amazingness of the cue. just happens to be the electronic version. But uh, The tone is a little different. It is a little yeah, bit different, different, but it still does what the cue does, sure. and that's let you know that an emergency vehicle is coming from a distance away, so go ahead and get prepared so you can get out of the way, pull safely to the side. So if you're running on an ambulance or a battalion chief vehicle, definitely something worth taking a look at. So the EQ2B available here on Sirenet, so go ahead and check out all the tech specs and additional information should you wish to do so. I'm Stuart. I'm Chris. You'll Thanks be... for joining us today. Yes, there you go. Have a great day. <laughs>